This is Cameo, a website where you can pay celebrities to send you video messages. Turns out a lot of footballers are actually registered on here too. And you can pay them for a birthday shout out, a pep talk, or even a roast. So you know what that means. Rose battle! Good luck with that. Footballers are literally famous for avoiding difficult questions. You seriously think they'll answer them for a bit of money? You're you're still gonna try, aren't you? I put four footballers on the target list, and we're paying all of them to roast their rival teams so we can see which footballer has the best roast, and our footballers will actually respond to difficult questions. Just as I know, all the footballers who sent roasts are absolute legends for doing it. Genuinely a massive thank you for all of them for coming through. Let's start with Michael Owen. This is a complicated one, because Owen is part of a very small group of players who've played for their rivals. Liverpool and Man United are both teams he's played for, so I guess that means his rivals are Man City? I guess? Well, well, that's what we're going with. So that means I need to go on to cover as a Man City super fan. I'm gonna edit that to make it look like this is a really bad thing and not that I secretly wish I was a City fan. The reason I'm doing this is to convince my clone I'm a fan of his rival club so that he has someone to direct his roast at. So I also made up a little story about how my dad was a United fan, but I supported City because they win a lot of trophies. Honestly, this is believable. I think Owen could cook it. I purposely left the prompts pretty open-ended so it's up to the footballers themselves to come up with the best roast. Paid a, a lot of money and waited for a response and I didn't have to wait long. <laughs> this is not even the next day and Michael Owen has already come through. Oh my God, it's 50 seconds long. Whoa, he's giving us a long one. Right, let's go. We gotta watch this. Jamie, hi there, mate. Nice Michael Owen here. Me. Hope you're well. Uh, I presume you're still basking in last season's glory of winning the Premier League title. Oh, However, nice. that ought to be short-lived um, with your dad being a Manchester United fan, how you can go and support Manchester City. Um, all the things that he brought you up to be, and you've uh, you've 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 turned, you've gone for a different oh, colour. Oh, he's going after me! Oh no! I'm being roasted instead. Well, no, he's cooking. This is so good. Now, before you say it, I was a footballer. I had to play for various teams, um, so I get forgiven. But you, you cannot be. If I was a football fan, I would support one team. One team only, no. all my life, and that would be whoever my father or my mother told me to support. But you're the black sheep, mate. It's not good. No. It's not good. Oh, God, I feel so bad. Oh, no. I feel like I'm going to cry. I'm just being roasted by a Ballon d'Or winner. Oh, War is my life. It's not going to last either. As soon as Pep Guardiola leaves, your fun will be oh, over. Oh, some shots fired at City there as well. I feel as if that was more directed at me, though, than it was at Mad City. But this is still a good roast nonetheless. Oh, thank you so much, though, Michael. That was sick. That was actually sick. I'm so glad that that came. Right, now over to the judges to give us the score for the roast. I think seven's fair, you know. City didn't really get roasted that hard, but I got absolutely obliterated. He did not hold back on me. I was expecting like a 10 second roast at best. This was like a minute long. I'm just relieved that in the midst of all of this, no other football YouTuber has just posted their own cameo video before this one comes out. So I didn't spend hundreds of pounds just to rip somebody else off. Man, that would have been awful. Oh, what's that? FNG's just posted a cameo video? I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. But that's a strong start, which I guess puts Owen into an early lead. Next up, Ledley King, and we have a big problem. See, Ledley King played for Tottenham. In fact, he's the last Tottenham captain to have won a trophy. What a depressing club. The issue is, I support that depressing club. So I now need to go undercover as an Arsenal fan. The only reason I have the disguise on is just because I don't want the internet seeing me wear this. Whatever pays the bills, Jamie. Roast me for being an Arsenal fan and how Arsenal are yet to win a European trophy. Isn't that right? Zach, the Arsenal fan. Someone watching this is potentially so freaked out right now. Paid the low price of 85 pounds and prayed that Ledby King would deliver. Right, I can't believe it. It's been a few days since we bought the cameo. Ledley King has just responded. He's just put it through. Oh, my club captain who thinks I'm an Arsenal fan. No. Oh, this is going to break my heart. Hi, Jamie. Hello. Ledley King here. Yes. 
But you didn't think you were here from me, did you? I'm from the best team in North London. Yeah. yeah. The only team in North London. Yes! Yes! Oh, he's glazing Spurs already. See, he thinks I'm being hurt by this. I'm loving it so much right now. You're one of the very few big teams that have never won a European trophy. I mean, even West Ham won a European trophy. How does that feel? Another thing. He's got more! Never gonna win the league again. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't tell him to say that. His voice dropped when he was saying that. That was straight from the heart. Oh, he's cooking. I didn't think he had this in him. Finish second if you like. But you're not going to get over the line. You're not going to win it. What? And meanwhile, Tottenham are good. just going to be creeping, creeping, creeping over the years with Big Ange <laughs> until we finally start winning. Yes, we are. Yes. So keep finishing second while you can. And uh, we'll see you when we overtake you. Yes. All the best. Whoa. What? That was so good. That was amazing. Deadly King, that was brilliant. That was so well worth the wait. Thank you so much for that. That has actually been amazing. That is so good. Right, over to the judges for the scores. I'm anticipating it's going to be quite high here. I'm going to go with nine. I know that's really high, but... Honestly, I think he deserves it. I'm so glad that I left it open-ended with the prompts because some of the stuff that he came up with was gold. I just didn't think Ledley King would cook that hard. Of all the footballers that are even on Cameo, I'm genuinely shocked that the best roast so far has come from Ledley King. But that was incredible and really surprising too. Ledley King now takes the lead and we move on to Matt Letissier. Oh no. Letizia is famous for scoring 100 Premier League goals, the most insane yet brilliant technique for taking a free kick, and more recently saying some pretty interesting theories. <laughs> this is either going to be the greatest roast of all time, or it's not making the video because he said something so outrageous I've had to cut it out. Those are the only two options. Since Letizia is a Southampton legend, I disguise myself as a Portsmouth fan. I really don't know that much about Portsmouth, so I put one or two roasts in there to start things off, paid a reasonable £30, and waited. Right, it's late right now. I don't know how many days it's been since I ordered this. It's been a while. But Letizia has sent it through, and we're ready to react to it. Oh my god. I'm very nervous right now. Hi, Jamie. You beta male Pompey fan. What's the matter with you? Just for some context, I asked Letizia, just as a joke, to call me a beta. He called me a beta in the first two seconds. This is obviously my fault for trying to get brain rot from Letizia, but can we still fill the comments with Jamie is a beta, please? That would be unreal. Still supporting that team that haven't been in the Premier League since 2010. Absolutely shocking, mate. All those years in League One, and we've been waiting for some derbies. Ooh. It's really time getting promoted back to the that championship. Was... And what do we do? Yeah, we get promoted to the Premier League in the same season. Oh, okay. So he's going to harvest some. This is some good football knowledge right here. I don't know what you can really say about Portsmouth, to be honest. But he's managed to find some good stuff to say. I'm impressed. Anyway, mind the gap, mate. Mind the gap. Oh, that's it. That's okay. That's, this, 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 uh, that's decent. And that can definitely stay in the video. There was nothing problematic with that. Yes, Letizia. Right, let's go over to the judges. Let's see what you have to say about Letizia's roast. In fairness, six is solid considering he was going after Portsmouth, who, I'll be completely honest, I would not have known where to start. It was an uphill battle for him, but it was still just missing that big hitting roast that would have pushed it way higher. So unfortunately for Letizia, a six is what it is. Not enough to dethrone Ledley King's roast. However, this following one definitely could. Because up next is Carlton Cole. Colton Cole's profile says he doesn't like, but loves to dish out football banter. We might have found the one. Colton Cole is a West Ham legend. He played with them for nine years, which would technically mean we pay him to roast Millwall. But since this is such a rare opportunity, I figured we'd aim for West Ham's Premier League rivals instead. I don't even need to go undercover. This guy has free reign to just roast me. We are an easy target in fairness. Isn't that right? David, the West Ham fan. Statistically, this will work if I keep trying. There's clearly a lot that can be said against Spurs, but to keep this a fair contest, I didn't give Colton Cole too many prompts. I told him I was a lifelong fan and had a season ticket, then paid the £52 for the cameo. Right, I'm excited. Colton Cole 
has delivered his cameo. We have got another one. Wait, oh my God, it's two and a half minutes. What can you possibly have to have said about Tottenham that takes two and a half minutes to say? Hey, doing, Jamie? It's Colton Cole here. Hello. Listen, mate, I've heard, yeah, that you're a Spurs fan. Yeah, I am. Um... Now, there's nothing wrong with being a Spurs yeah, fan. Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. But it's one of those things when you get to a point in life... This is quite nice so far. ...where you've got to make a decision where you want to be with the winners or you want to be with the losers. And as it stands for me right now, the, the fact that you've not won anything in, for so long, um, you have not, you've had no silverware um, and you are a Spurs fan. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I'm trying to bring you into this life of winning things. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's cooking. Oh my god, he's actually cooked me. What have I done? What have I got myself into? Okay, that hurt. That, I did not need to hear that, okay? How can I say anything other than um, just just be a just be a top geezer again? Listen, I love you. Um, I know that you love to go to, obviously, the Spurs. Waste the money. Oh, no. If, if, if you tell me and I tell you something... Oh. Uh, it is actually a waste of money. No! No! <laughs> it is a waste of money. He's right. He's right. But it doesn't matter. You guys finished above us. Yeah, we did. Take it that. It doesn't matter. Slightly bothered about that. I am slightly bothered, but I'm not really that bothered. But we have won something in the last 10 years. No, you, you haven't. So anyway, it doesn't matter anyway. Take care, Jamie. Oh. Take care. And listen, I love you. I have to leave you. Take care. Come on, you won't. No, no, the couple of yours ruined it, but that was so good. What? He covered all bases. I don't think there's a single bad thing about Spurs that he didn't say. He is a legend. What a legend. What a guy, man. All right, judges. Please give us the score for Colton Cole. I really am intrigued to see this. As it stands, Lenny King is still our top roaster with a score of nine. But how does Colton Cole's two and a half minute Tottenham roast compete? Well, I can reveal. I'm going to put it just beneath it with a score of eight. Reason being, he was just too nice. He over-delivered on the roast massively. They were amazing, but it just had that friendly tone about it. Whilst Lenny King's just felt like a pure roast. That's why I'm going to edge it to him. Well, there you have it, folks. Lenny King is the winner of our football roast battle. But honestly, massive thank you to all the footballers who sent over their roasts. But man, is that enough roasting for one day. So thanks for watching to my amazing subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, you're an absolute b****. Bye.